Sport, and this is Letters and Numbers. Right, thinking caps on and pens and papers ready as we get the show on the road by welcoming our two well-capped captains, Lily Zerner. Hey, Richard. And David Astle. Good day, Richard. And introducing our two brand new challenges for the evening. First up is Angela Mises, who works in community health and is also a keen softballer. Hello, Angela. Hello, Richard. Now, a keen softballer, are you a competitive softballer? Indeed. I play locally in the Northwest League, uh, which is based at Sunshine for Comets, and I play Masters softball every year or two for Comets also. So you'll be bringing a good competitive spirit to the game tonight? Hopefully, yes. Welcome. And our next challenger has a Masters in Applied Statistics, Denver Quadros. Hello, Denver. Thanks for having me, Richard. Now, as well as the statistics, you're also pretty interested in trivia. Yep, uh, in my high school days, I used to be a trivia champion, with my specialities being sports and geography. Well, a trivia champion is almost like throwing down a gauntlet <laughs> to David, because David's a bit keen on trivia as well. Well, you know that Denver is the capital of Colorado. Well done. Now, here's a tricky one. Uh, what is the Mona Lisa holding in her right hand? I would not have a clue, sorry. <laughs> that would be her left hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, tricky bit of trivia. Yeah. The night is beginning with a challenge, but uh, I'm sure it'll go well. Welcome, Denver. Thank you. And a big welcome to both of our contestants, Angela Mises and Denver Quadros. <clears throat> and, of course, a characterful night begins with the letters game. Angela, what would you like? Hi, Lily. Hi, Angela. Uh, could I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with W. And another? F. And a vowel, please. A. A consonant? T. A vowel? O. A consonant, please. C. Another consonant? R. And a vowel, thank you. I. Oh, and... Uh, a consonant, thank you. And lastly, D. And the first 30 seconds for the night. for those first letters? A five, Richard. Five for you, Denver? Five for me as well, Richard. Five for you as well. Let's start with yours, Denver. Crows. Could you spell it? C-R-O-W-S. And yours, Angela? Waste. W-A-I-S-T. Two fives to start, David? Yeah, it's a conservative start, I'd have to say. Possibly a timid start. Uh, good fives, but uh, I'll look forward to both players warming up because you could extend crows with crowds, cowards, there's also towards, carotid, C A R O T I D is uh, one of the two arteries in the uh, in the neck, and if there's one of two, then carotids. C A R O T I D S is an eight. Nice work, David. But solid start for Angela and Denver. Five points each. Let's power on with the letters and uh, your first chance to choose, Denver. Thanks, Richard. Let's start with the consonant. Yeah, sure. Let's start with N. And one more consonant. F. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. S. And a consonant. P. And a vowel. A. And another vowel. I. One more vowel. E. And finish off with a consonant. And lastly, R. I'll start the clock. Enjoy your first selection? Uh, unfortunately, just a five, Richard. A five for you, Angela? A seven. That sounds good. Let's go with the five first, though. Freeze. And your seven, Angela? Fence bar. 
Could you spell that? F-E-N-S-P-A-R. A fenspa, David. Now, not a word I know. Sounds like a fight in a swamp, doesn't it? <laughs> a fenspa. Fenspa. I'm sorry, uh, Angela. It's not listed here in this dictionary. I, I cannot give you the points, therefore. Taking us to freeze. Uh, could you spell it, please, Denver? F-R-E-E-S. Well done. And you could extend that uh, word with an I and an A for freesia, which are those South African yellow and white uh, flowers. Nice work, David. But uh, good score for Denver. Five points. Well, time now for the first third of our maths quota tonight with the numbers game. Angela, what would you like? Can I have two large and four small, please, Lily? Thanks, Angela. That's two large and four small, the family mix. And our numbers. Two, nine, one, four, and the two large, 25 and 50. The target to reach is 785. Thanks, Lily. Let's head there. Outside the target range, unfortunately, Richard. Oh, bad luck. What about you, Denver? I'll say the target range as well. OK. Too hard for Angela and Denver that time. Uh, was it too hard for you? Whoa, oh, that does look like a tough one. It was a toughie. It was really hard. Um, but I'll, I can talk you through it. OK. Um, now, 50 minus 4 minus 1 is 45. By the 2 is 90. By the 9, because 9 times 9 is um, 81, so 9 times 90 is 810. Take away the 25 gives you 785. That made it sound kind of such a logical high-speed approach, but there are a lot of steps there, aren't there, to yeah, work there through? Yeah, there was. Very difficult. Big challenge in 30 seconds. Well done, Lily, but uh, bad luck, unfortunately, on that occasion for Angela and Denver. So our scores remain at five for Angela, ten for Denver, as we head for our first break. First word mix for you, cod eater. And your clue, assess the paint job. See you after the break.